Hi, I'm Sharon Goulet, and in this video, I'm going to quickly go over how to set up and use Easy Azon, a wonderful plugin that I love, um, basically because it helps me make more money on Amazon, and it's really simple to use, and in fact, saves me a lot of time just to use it as well as making me more money. So, um, yes, I'm going to quickly go through how to set that up so that you get a better idea of how easy it is and how you might use it yourself. So the first thing you're gonna do, obviously, is you, you do need to go buy it with the links that you can see around this video. You're gonna download two plugins and you're gonna to need to upload them just like you would any other plugin. So you'll go to plugins, go to add new, upload plugin, because you'll download the zip files and you need to upload them. So basically you just find them and you upload them. So you'll have Easy Azon and Easy Azon Pro. So you need to upload both of them and you need to activate them, which is all very straightforward. Then you'll see that you have this Easy Azon link down in your sidebar. So basically when you click on that, you'll find all the settings that you need. So the first page you'll go to is called Credentials. Now this is the only bit that's a tiny bit tricky, but it really isn't tricky. You basically have to go into Amazon and find your access key ID and secret access key. Okay, so you already need to be an affiliate and signed up. Um, and then you can get them quite easily. But I'm not going to go through that because if you just click on this link that comes with your plugin, there's a video and there's step-by-step -step instructions of how to get those. This link will take you to the page where you get them. It's very easy. So you get your access key ID and your secret access key and you need to make sure they're filled in correctly. Now the next stop is to go to this Amazon Associates page. Now this is where you need to get a tracking ID from your Amazon affiliate account for any um, different Amazon store you wanna be able to use. Okay, so if you're already an Amazon affiliate, um, this is very easy, it's just a tracking ID that you would normally use for your account. Okay, if you don't already have one for that website, you can easily create a new one in Amazon. So basically, um, if you're not a member, you can click on this sign up page and it will take you to the right link for that country of where you sign up. Now it's quite straightforward to sign up. You can sign up, create a tracking ID, and then just put that tracking ID in there. That's just to make sure you get paid every commission and it's all tracked correctly in Amazon. So you're gonna have to work out which um, countries you wanna join up to if you're not already a member of a lot. If you're already a member of lots of them, you can just put your tracking ID straight in here. It's very straightforward. Um, I recommend that you sign up for at least, if assuming you're, you're English speaking and your blogs are in English, at least for United States, Canada, and United Kingdom. So you can go to all these sign up pages, um, get started really quickly, get your tracking ID. Um, I also joined Germany and France. Um, my French one hasn't been so successful for me, but my German one, I, you know, I made about 100 euros last month. So for me, definitely worth signing up. Um, I tried to sign up for a couple of others, but I remember I didn't, uh, I didn't get accepted to Spain and Italy. I'm not really sure why, but that's okay. Um, and I know some like India, you're actually just not allowed to join if you're not a resident, so you can just forget about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, don't feel like you necessarily need to join every single one, but I would at least join the English speaking ones. Um, if you do join another one like Germany or whatever, it will all be in German, <laughs> the sign up forms and that. Um, but I find, you know, you can just right click and do translate to English and, and that works quite nicely. It was not difficult to sign up for, especially because all the sites pretty much look the same. So the fields will be the same as what you did on the UK or the US one, uh, make it extra easy. So um, you can put multiple tracking IDs if you want in here, um, but we'll just keep it simple, we'll stick to one. Um, you can then go to this search tab. Now this is where you have to put your default search locale. So if you're not telling Amazon to go, sorry, Easy Azon to go to any other Amazon site, which one do you want it to go to by default? So you will generally pick wherever you have the most readers come from to your site. So for me, it's United States, and it's probably gonna be a popular option to put here. Now this is where you can um, change the default settings. So basically, whatever settings you have here, by default, these will be applied to every easy Azon link to Amazon that you create. Now you can always change this at a link level. It's not hard to do at all. Um, but in general, you know, most of these settings you'd actually want the same for all your links. So it's really handy because you can come in here and set them for everything at once. So for example, I like my links to open in a new window, so I just tick new window. Now this one's really important, this no follow. If you don't want to risk getting dinged by Google, it's important that all your affiliate links are marked no, no follow. So one of the things I love about this plugin is you can just click here that you want it no follow um, and they'll all just be no follow. You never ever have to worry about it again. 
Now you can choose to have your your Amazon links um, straight away add whatever product you're linking to to your Amazon cart. Now the upside of this is that you get you know an extra 89 days to earn the commission from that person if they buy that item. Um, like you know 90 days time you can still get the money um, instead of the usual 24 hours. The downside of this is if you have this tick, if someone clicks on your link, instead of going to the product page, um, they will go to like sort of their shopping cart in Amazon and it will just say it and it's, it's not very user friendly, I don't think. So I would only, as powerful as this is, I would only use it in specific cases. Like if I have like a buy now from Amazon button, then that, I use it in that case. But I think generally I know I would rather go to a page where I see like how much the item costs and things like that before you'd commit to buying. Um, it also gives the, the person lots of opportunity to buy other items on Amazon. So, I mean, you can experiment with this and you should, you should experiment with everything, but that's just what that is. Um, you can also select to cloak all your Amazon links. So basically what that means is instead of seeing the link on your page to like amazon.com or whatever, they'll see like whatever you set up here. So this, it could be like this. You can also select um, whether you want information pop up to come up whenever a visitor on your website hovers over a product link. So that means if there was a link right here and I put my mouse over it, um, there'd be a little information pop up. I personally find that super annoying, but you can do that if you want to. And um, there's also this info block template you can change and I'll show you what an info block is soon. Okay, so they're the defaults that you can set. And finally, you just have this link localization. So the first thing you're gonna definitely wanna make sure is ticked if you're gonna use this plugin to link to um, multiple Amazon stores, um, is this localization. You know, you want your easy A's on links to be localized. So by localized, they mean if you click on, the, on this page in London, that it will go to Amazon UK. If you're in New York, it'll go to Amazon US, etc. Now under this, you'll see that they've got all the different um, Amazon sites like US, Brazil, Canada, etc. And here you can select which countries um, that you want to divert to that Amazon state. So if they're in the United States, we want them to go to the United States, in Brazil to Brazil. Now say like Brazil where I don't have a tracking ID. Um, if they're in Brazil, what that will just mean is that they would go to the Amazon that I set up as the default up here, um, up here in the search. So in my case, it would go to the US, so that's fine. Um, so a lot of these, I mean, you can have multiple countries ticked, so France would be all those ones, Germany, all those, etc. cetera. So um, the, by default, they have like, the things in here are fine. I barely touch them at all. But if you wanna change them, you can. Okay, so that's all you have to do to set it up, super easy. Now where you'll see easy as I'm being used is obviously in a post. So this is just a new post I created, but you can, you know, you can add it to any existing posts as well. And what you'll notice is you now have that button easy as on. Okay, now what you can do is say I created a, pro, a product name, like I wrote it down, um, this cuisine art food processor, like the example I'm using on digital nomad wannabe. I could write that and then highlight it and go easy as on, and then I can add a link to it like I would any other link. Now you don't have to write it first, you can add the link text later, but whichever, it's easier when you do it this way around because it will automatically search for whatever I had highlighted um, at Amazon, like you can put which site you wanted to search by. So I've got it on United States since that's my main audience. Um, and it will bring up everything that, that looks like that word in Amazon. So you can see that I've got it there. Now if I wanna add a text link, all I do is click on text link here link text so that's what will be shown as the link text and um, this is the product here so if i want to i can click on this and i can go see the product in amazon just to make sure it's the product that i want and i can change this link text to whatever i want now these are all these settings we looked at before now as you can see by default they all say default so um you know so that will open in a new window for me it'll be marked no follow but if i want to i can change it so say I would never change that one, but say I didn't want this to open a new window for some reason, I could just do no, and then this link then won't do that. When I'm finished, I just press insert, and I'll make the link look like that um, in your edit screen. But when you look at that as a reader on the page, it'll just look like any other link. Okay, so it's quite powerful, because not only will it look like any other link to the reader, but if they're in London, it will link to Amazon UK. If they're in Canada, Amazon Canada. If they're in the US, to Amazon US. Um, etc. So really powerful. Um, now in my next video I'll go over what other types of links you can create as well with EasyAzon. 
but this is just meant to be a brief introduction to how you set up EasyAzon and give you a bit of an idea of how easy it is to use and how powerful it can be.